what I did was I sculpted the nose and I'm just making her a pretty uh, like a who you know from Whoville but also kind of I don't know you can just figure out what you think kind of Christmassy uh, Christmas Queen or something I don't know let me just show you what I'm gonna be putting on her just so you can get an idea of how she's gonna look I have this little tiny mini Christmas skirt that is gonna go around her neck well, which I will, I will fix it you know and, and make it all <clears throat> a little more better there and I'm gonna be putting a boa around that no she doesn't have a mustache oh she's a cat mouth no I oh. get it. I hate hello it. everybody I know you hate me I hate when you do that and she also has this beautiful white Christmas hat um, this is a little darker than what I want I think but we'll see after I get everything done I don't know but um, let me zoom out and let me fix my let me get my camera controls on so that I'm able to zoom out when I need to but that's what she's gonna have um, I'm not sure I might add some other stuff um, I just don't know yet and then of course she'll have some ornament earrings but I'm excited to see how she'll look so I would super appreciate it when you guys come in if you uh, give a thumbs up or say hi or let me know where you're from or if it's your first time watching and if you could share that would be fabulous too all right so I'm gonna get started um, let me get my stuff and if you comment and I don't see it please forgive me because sometimes my comments they don't show up all right let me let me get some of the things that I need Bucky no go lay down um, where is it okay my, my favorite brushes here that I use so then I'm not searching for them all right Good enough, good enough. Good enough. All right. So first, what I want to do... Let me just do some really quick chips on this that I didn't do already. I think I might lighten up. I think it's uh, too dark. But we'll see. Okay. So I did, did these eyebrows a little different. I went, normally you go thicker and then thinner. I did it opposite. I don't know, I just thought it, that it looked kind of groovy that way. I liked it. Hopefully I can get this side the same. Oh, my hands feel jittery. I have been busy all day. Nope, crooked. Crooked. Thank you for the stars, Lisa. Appreciate it, thank you. Already starting out with a mess up here. That happens. That happens. Nobody's perfect. Nope. But your final product is always perfection. Aw, thank you. <laughs> it makes me Hi. Decorating makes me happy. I love the name. I love the name. I 
Put me on and have your laptop here so you can see the. Because I was <coughs> too lazy to. Um, no, it's fine. I got to try to fix this eyebrow. No, I don't want you to hook it up. Thank you, though. I just right. I don't need it right now. I probably should have did this eyebrow first before I went live because sometimes I have trouble with the eyebrows. I have another head back there that I sculpted the nose, but I made that nose more um, rounder and more th thicker. So he's going to be um, an elf. That is really off. close but it's not perfect I'm not gonna freak out on it I'm, I'll go back to it later all right so I'm gonna start oh and if you could see I did glitter and three different three different um, glitters on her eye it looks really pretty oh wait no nope. I'm used to doing the bottom and I am uh, not doing the bottom on this one. I thought it gave her a prettier look by not doing the bottom. I'll come back to that. I should use this brush. Hi Linda, good evening. How did the kids like the car wash? Oh my goodness. They got scared, but they loved it. Um, it was super fun. Such a, a cute idea. I never even heard of a haunted car wash till I saw this one here. But they, they loved it and got scared. And then today was another Halloween thing we were gonna do. But wow, I just... I was exhausted. We just didn't make it to this one. Because night before last, we went to Trunk or Treat. So they got tons of candy there. Um, and there were so many people. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to wear my mask. Because I'm, I'm sorry, I'm one of those people that still wear a mask. I'm the only one in my family that still wears it. Um, but, uh, I'm like, well, I'm not going to wear my mask because we're going to be outside. Oh my God. There was millions of people shoulder, <coughs> shoulder to shoulder. So I, I hope that, uh, nobody was sick there, <laughs> but it was fun. Uh, it's just a special time of spending with the two youngest grandkids because I won't um, get to see them on on Halloween night. So, luckily here where I live, they've been doing functions, which is nice. So I am using a crystal green on her eyes. I really, really love crystal green for eyes. Hi, Jill. Thanks for popping in. I think this head is going to be really awesome. If you guys can't stick around to watch, definitely pop back in so you can see what she looks like when she's done. I, I'm really hoping that uh, she turns out the way I'm 
have her in my mind. And for anyone interested, she's actually tentatively sold. So I'm, w I'm waiting till the head's done to get confirmation. white over here. Let me just look to make sure the eyes, one's not bigger than the other. I have one entire wall in my place dedicated to your head. I'm, I'm soon going to need a bigger place. That is so awesome, Lisa. You have got to share pictures. I know I've seen, um, you sent pictures before, but you've gotten more heads since the last time. So you gotta send me pictures. I love, um, when people purchase heads, I love to see pictures um, when they have them, you know, what they do with them and stuff. How, you know, where they're displayed and all that, it's awesome. So now I'm just adding some white. I added too much, but that's not a big deal. I turned my gain down low, so I'm hoping that you're not hearing. Ron, can you lower your voice a little? I'm hoping that you're not picking up all the background noise because Ron's entertaining the grandkids with TV right now. I apologize if it gets loud. <laughs> okay, so... So I'm going to come back in with my black. <coughs> Pull some of this in. We want it darker around the outside of the eye. I was going to do little peppermint candy cheeks, but I'm not sure if I want to do that. I'm thinking maybe just rosy cheeks might be prettier. She's going to have a lot going, you know, a hat and a little skirt around her neck and stuff. And I don't want to make her too busy, you know, but I don't know. We'll see as I... Excuse me one moment. I don't think he heard if he could lower his voice. <laughs> about that. Alright. I'm going to get some more white in here. Got to get her pupil back. I have to look at her straight on so it's not in a weird spot. <coughs> Some more white in there. Hi, Summer. Thank you. Hi, Carrie. I am so glad you caught my live. You know, I don't go live a whole bunch, so I always say I'm going to try, but oh, I tell you, I'm just, 
I get so busy and I try. This time of year, this season, Halloween, very, very busy time for me. Okay, so I think her eye looks pretty close to the other. And so what I did, <coughs> oh wait, let me have some flaws right here that I need to cover up. Anybody is interested, I'm using Apple Barrel Sunkissed Peach for the base. Okay, so I'm going to give all that a chance to dry. And let me get just get a tad bit more white here because okay all right so while that is drying I am going to get a dab of this pink get a dab of Denise oh my god how are you I'm so glad you caught the live how can you not be busy your work is ah oh, thank you Carrie thank you whoa there we go so I'm wanting to do I don't know if this will look good I could always fix it if it doesn't. Um, I actually want to do a really soft pink, maybe with some um, extra fine white glitter on the tip. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm just going to go around because like I said, I don't want anything to overpower her face. I want her eyes to stand out because she's going to have, you know, the hat, the skirt. See how it's just, I don't know if you can see it, just barely on the tip. I don't even want to do nostrils. I don't know. I just like her like this. We'll see. So... Without using any glue, I'm just going to wait, Heather. I'm going to put some extra fine white glitter. And of course, I'll seal that. And look at that. It just, it just gives a pretty sparkle. And it gives her a more dainty look, you know, just on the tip there. But I do agree that this is, my husband said, it looks like she has a mustache. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. It's too dark. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, Lisa. I really appreciate the stars. You guys are awesome. You know what? I'm going to go over this.
and then I will probably go over it lighter because it's just too dark. Now that I'm really looking at her, too dark. Want a little bit of shadowing underneath her lip, but this is just too much. I'm going to let that dry and deal with that later. I don't know about that. Okay, so now, thank you, Lisa. I'm going to put some shadow in her eyes. Oh, I forgot to do her highlight, too. I got to do her highlight. But we want to create some depth to these eyeballs. So just going around. Some eyeshadow, a little bit on top. It's hard to get down in that this area. Take a little bit of red. Sometimes I do this with eyeshadow, but I'm just going to put a little dab here. Get some white. Just to give a little bit of a tear duct area. like to add just a touch over here. Just a little. Alright, I do need to give her some highlight. Dry. Hi, Irene. Thank you. Hey, Kathy. I forgot to post pictures of the witch's call that I made for the Hocus Pocus party. Oh my gosh, yes, you need to post pictures. I can't wait to see it. Okay, so let me get some red. I'm going to be putting glitter on her eye, but I am putting a base of <coughs> glitter, uh, red eyeshadow. So I'm just filling it in. Wait, first I want to do a white line. I'm trying to 
trying to remember what I did on that side. Oh, I didn't even do her wing. I'm like so not organized tonight, I tell you. Let me do the wing. heavy wing. I'm going to take some white. Maybe go watch TV. It's a lot easier to do the eyes before the lashes are on. Do both of them. What did you grab? Okay, what is that? Okay. Because um, it's hard for me to see what I did, but I wanted to get one done so it wouldn't be so long on a live. So, white there. a chance to dry. I'm going to go ahead and seal that eyeball because I don't want no glitter. Alright, what did I do with my... Yeah. Reach down. actually blend stuff in and makes the eye look more realistic as well. And I'm also going to seal this glitter I did on her nose so we don't lose any of that. Her little dainty tip there, it's so cute. Going to help things dry a lot faster. All right, this is a problem. Maybe I should have left it. Hi, Angel. 
Thank you for popping in. Yeah, this head I've been excited to make. Um, I love doing. Uh, I love doing creepy heads. My favorites, Halloween heads, but I also really love doing Christmas heads too. Christmas heads are a lot of fun. All right, so I'm gonna draw a line. So as you can see in here, I have some red, I have white glitter. Um, I use the crystal frost here. Um, no, crystal frost I used up here. And then right here I use the white glitter that has little specks of silver in it. So I have three different, but I have to make room for the red, so I'm just gonna draw a line where the red will be. Right there. Still wet, I can't do the glitter until that dries. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Gonna take this. Let me see what her cheeks looks like with a little bit of rosiness to it. One second. Try this again. I just want rosy cheeks. A little color up here. Thank you, Denise and Lisa. Yeah, I think the cheeks, the rosy cheeks, are better than going with the, um, for this particular head, it's better than doing um, the peppermint candies, because I want her to have more of a softer look and not super busy. This particular head had some issues here. There's like pitting that I didn't get fixed, so hopefully it it just your eyes don't go there. <laughs> okay, so just a little little on the nose, just so she has some color in her face and not so, so dull. Okay. Alright. All right, let's see if this is dry enough. I think it is, I think, we'll see. Worst comes to worst, I can flick the glitter off. I'm assuming these are for wreath attachments. Um, actually, some people put them in wreaths. Some people um, decorate them with florals. This one actually is gonna have a Santa hat. Um, and some people just display them as they are. I have a lot of customers that um, don't put them in wreaths and they just display them. And then I have some that, you know, they put them on stands. So it just depends. Um, Lisa here, that's here uh, in the live, she just displays them um, as they are. Is that correct, Lisa? But they do look awesome in wreaths. You know, a lot of people put them in wreaths. Let's see. 
I put a lot in wreaths myself in the beginning but it was just it's really expensive to ship these heads in a wreath the size wreaths I was making so I just stopped doing the wreaths and just went straight to the heads <laughs> okay so I'm gonna use my red glitter yeah see Irene displays hers as is and Lisa too it depends on what kind of head you know it really does um, there's certain heads I make that that are just almost all of them all go in wreaths you know just really depends the majority of my scary ones are all displayed as is I put the buds in the cabinet um, then I get my angled brush and I just kind of move stuff around where I want it. I need to leave room for that glitter that's going to go right in between the eye line and um, this one's thicker, dang it. But I don't want to add too much more because it'll make my eye look off balanced. Sometimes I have trouble getting the distance right. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the white. And I want to make sure not to get any on. The eye line because I need room for her eyelashes. I can't pause the live. Okay, so now I'm going to use glitter with the silver in it. We're actually almost done. This one. Just got a few in there of the red, but see too much. Okay, now I'm going to add the crystal frost up here. Ron, can you, can you go turn the TV down, please? I am really sorry, you guys. Every time I turn the TV down and then they go and turn it back up, I told them I'm doing a live. Somebody went and blasted it back again. Oh, yes, please do. How awesome. Thank you, Angel. 
my intent was to put them in the wreath, but I love them too much to part with them. <laughs> you know, when I first started um, making these heads, I had a hard time myself parting with them. And um, I just told myself, okay, you could always make more. Because I started getting, ended up having too many. Yeah, and Ron's in the background saying, mm hmm So see how it almost gives it a pink tint with the red eyeshadow behind it? And I use the Crystal Frost glitter, so it complements her nose. Anyway, so yeah, a hard time. But now it's like, nope. I love them, but I let them go. Okay, so I just give this a little bit of time and then I'm going to seal it. I do have a few reds that I don't want in there, but I think the eyelashes are going to hide that. Okay, so. I can't wait to see the, um, the wreath you do, Lisa, with the scarecrow. That's going to be awesome. I just got confirmation that she is definitely sold. She is definitely not going to be available. But, um, ooh, for anybody that likes the little elf style and stuff, I just sculpted this one. This one is more bulbous. I can't wait to do this one. So, I'm going to be making that one and that one. That one will be available too. Okay, so let me get the eyelash on. Ron, can you go and tell them to please? Okay, go in the room. They can watch TV in the room. I've had my grandsons for about four days. Um, their parents are on a little holiday. Plus, it's Halloween functions going on here in my town, so. I thought I had them all relaxed and situated. Gave them showers. You guys go watch TV in the room, please. Can you tell Papa? Um, but that didn't work, I guess. They're pretty wired up. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Sound. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I've been getting nervous here that, oh my God, people are going to get irritated from the sound. But thank you. Okay, so I'm going to get some tacky glue. And I like to put a coat, a, 
a thin coat on the eye line first. No, it needs to be done properly, Ron. Um, I forgot what I was even going to say. Perfect, but it's close. <laughs> Lisa, since you are here, are you still here? Are you still here, Lisa? Thank you, Jill. Thank you. I appreciate it. Jill talking poop. I'm trying to see if Lisa is still here because I haven't asked her a question. <clears throat> she might not. She messaged me to confirm that she wants her, but I was going to ask her if she wants the um, if she wants the the black eyeshadow underneath. Oh, she is here. So, being that you um, being that you do want her, Lisa, do you want the black <clears throat> eyeshadow underneath the eye like I do on the other heads? Let me know, and I can do that for you. It'll uh, deepen her eyes. It's up to you. I wouldn't worry about the noise unless I start screaming loud while you're doing this from your home and everyone has noise. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it, Linda. Okay. Whatever you think. Ooh. Um. You know what? Uh, I don't know. I think it would look good. I do it on all the other heads. Um, go for it. Okay. <laughs> I was just waiting for that go for it. I didn't want to do it. So you said go for it. I was, you know, going for a softer look, but, you know, the more I look at her, the eyes, this glitter is, is, fix that. Um, it really makes the eyes look more dramatic. That's why I like to do it. But I was trying to give her a softer look, but the more I look at her, I think that, I think it would look good. So let's see, let's see. As <laughs> she says, do it. <laughs> Let me just take a swig of water really quick. All right, let's do it. So I take my eyeshadow brush and I just. What do you think? Better?
careful because this eyelash is not dry yet. I'm going to lighten that eye up a little bit. I need to lighten that eye up just a little bit, but I know part of the lighting in here is making it look a little off too, but Great, good, she loves it. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Carrie. I'm just gonna, um, even though I glazed it, you know, I put the triple thick, it's still okay to paint over it. I just needed to lighten it up. In person, it looks fine, and the, when I look on the computer, the other eye looks a lot lighter. lightened up it up I think okay now I'm gonna put the fun stuff on and then we'll get a really good look at how she's gonna look Let me just move this stuff out of the way um, I don't want to get any paint on the stuff I'm using on her, so Again, it's like a little skirt, little mini Christmas tree skirt. So you know, my fingers are like getting totally stabbed right now, but I'm just trying to get this done. <laughs> okay, so it has little Velcro, but it's definitely too big. So I'm going to get it all the way up on top, see how far I can take it. Now this one would look absolutely beautiful on a stand. If you have some kind of a stand so that you could really, um, you could really show the skirt, you know? I call it a skirt. It's a Christmas tree skirt, mini Christmas tree skirt. And I think I'm gonna add a little, a little pleat on this side. And a little pleat, maybe right here. Just to give it a little. All right, and then I have a boa. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. lighting is really it's dark in here sorry um, I will probably take pictures tomorrow when I have the natural Sun so you could really and you know appreciate her colors better can't really appreciate her colors with a dullness here 
here I'm just going to cut this to fit. Like I said, I was so excited to make her. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, guys. Please share if you haven't shared and thumbs up. And, and for anybody new, if you would like to learn how to create styrofoam head art like this, I do have a group, Creepy Corner. I have some ladies here that are in, um, in my group that are in the live right now. And you know, beginners are welcome. When you join, it's $20 a month. You can cancel any time. And you have immediate access to hundreds. I would think at this point over 260 plus. Um, I don't, there's tons, so many. Pre-recorded tutorials, live tutorials. And it's a lot of fun if you're interested in learning how to do this stuff. Oh, I just love her already. Look at her. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pin this on, but I will take it off. And tomorrow I'm going to spray her because she does have, you know, the shadow and stuff. Now, I do want to show Lisa one thing up close before I finalize everything here. I'm just going to pin the back for now. The hat is, the hats, a lot of the hats are a little bit big, you know, and um, it's just gathered in the back. Then I usually just kind of lift up and pin. Oh, she's so pretty. So, um, okay, before I look at some other stuff I was thinking of adding, just so you know, Lisa, I, I removed the thingies unless you want those back. I thought they were a little too strong. Normally my heads are, are nice and smooth. There is an area that gave me trouble. You can see here that pity. So I just want that made aware. Um, and I think it had to do with my sculpting. I had, uh, when I was trying to smooth it out, I think that, uh, had some issues in this area but anyway all right um I just stand out in this beautiful thank you thank you Linda thank you Jill um now okay Lisa if you're still here tell me which earrings you want do you want white with the polka dots, red with the polka dots, green, red, or white? You can see the colors that you can choose from. Let me know. Um, or if you don't want earrings, let me know. My wonderful friend Candy, who's also in my group, she sent me these when I visited her when she came to California. I'm just, I'm looking, I don't know, you know. Um, let me know if you like that as well. Let me see if I can plug my light on my, um, my light on my, my ring light and see if you can get a better look at her. Like this, let's see. Oh, that does, you can see a little better. Um, Lisa, do you want the crown or no? Um, no earrings, Lisa. She looks like Taylor Swift. Wow, I can see that. Okay, no earrings. I can see Taylor Swift. That is so awesome. Okay, no earrings. What about the crown? Do you like the crown? You say no, Ron? Did you even look? <laughs> and Lisa said no crown. She just loves it just like that. <laughs> okay, let me see. Hold on, I have something else. 
I'm not sure. No. No, never mind. <laughs> I don't. I'll use this on something else. It doesn't go. Okay. Um, all right. So, that really bothers me. That bothers me. See that? I got to... I gotta try to fix that. Um, do you want these little lines, like maybe in uh, light red or in the black again, or do you want me just to fill in with the base, the color of the the skin tone? Kim says no crown too. Thank you, Carrie. She just looks like a little doll, huh? But I, I'm really, ugh, this is really bugging me. I'm not sure I gotta, I think I'm gonna, I need to repaint over that. Okay, no response. So we'll just leave her without the little thingies and then I'm gonna go over her and paint her base paint better because you could see the lines there and then I'm going to do a little touch up here and then she'll be ready for you Lisa I'm torn over the lines you're torn over the lines um, I can do the lines right now lightly if you want and I can always get rid of them so that's not a problem let me just uh, oh it's the wrong one let me I like the lines then you remove them and I like that too <laughs> I know I know it just and I didn't even think twice about it until Ron's like oh it looks like a mustache so but I can put him back and then we'll see. Because I originally put him here to kind of hide anyway. The, um, I can see it's lighter. Looks better lighter. To hide where, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes doing the sculpting because you'll see little areas where I just couldn't get it, you know, totally smooth. head is wet so I can't really do this side right it turns out too dark but um let me know if you do want those little things and then I'll just repaint that area and then put them on when it's fully dry she seriously looks like Taylor <laughs> So just let me know. Um, again, I'll just if you like the lines there, I'll I'll repaint those um, to clean it up because that has smudges because her head was wet. And I'll redo the lines, and then she'll be ready tomorrow. Or I can re you know wipe them off and repaint the area. No lines, whatever you would like. So you can, and you can think about it too. You can let me know. 
But there she is, everybody. These are a possible stay and go. Not sure yet. But I was super excited to make her and happy with her. I think she would have looked pretty too with a red hat. I just don't have any more red hats. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end the live. And thank you so much for joining in. Thank you for dealing with the noise. Um, thank you for all the hearts. Thank you for the sharing. Thank you for the um, stars. Thank you, Denise. Lisa's thinking. Go ahead and think about it, Lisa. You can sleep on it if you want. Um, and because I'll just I'll work on her tomorrow morning. Get this, whatever you decide to do. And I will get you invoiced. And she'll be heading. I'm going to the post office. Anybody here, any, it's in the live that's waiting for a head. I am going to the post office. Not tomorrow, Monday. I didn't make it today. So, all right. Well, thank you all again for joining. I hope you love the head. And I will talk to you guys all soon.